What's up, Rail Fanners? Up the Booty Old Tour, Richie 3 here, and I have another Railworks 3 2012 tutorial for you guys. Alright, today we're going to cover just a little quick thing here how to import assets and DLC into Railworks 3. Now, alright, first all you got to do is get your pack ready. Now, uh, DLC and assets can come in two different file formats for Railworks 3. First off, you get the RWP file. See right here, .rwp. Those are the easiest to import. Next, you've got the actual files. So, if you have that, it should be either in an RAR or, yeah, in some cases, you, you may actually get the files themselves. So, when you open them up, you get these two, uh, sometimes three, uh, folders. In this case, I've got assets and content. See? Okay. First off, I want to figure out how to import the RWP because it's the easiest. So, start up your train simulator. Now, some assets you can find on the internet. Um, some you can download online. Um, there are many ways to get them. Um, if, like for example, this sound pack didn't come uh, on Steam, like I didn't get it on Steam, so I downloaded it off uh, inter uh, another website. So I downloaded it onto my computer, and this is just another easier way to get it in because it didn't add it automatically. Okay, here we are. So we've got, all right. So we've got this main window open up. All right. So next step, you have to go into the package manager. So click this. All right, now you should see it says press refresh to view actually all your installed packages. You don't have to do that right now unless you unless you want to. But right f right now to actually import a new package, hit the install button. And it should bring up a little window. Oh, perfect. Uh it's set to my desktop automatically. You know, browse to your file. I have mine right here on my desktop. So all I got to do is click that, click open and it will automatically install and all you have to do is load up Routeworks and it will work. I already have this installed. I don't need to do it again, but that's basically it. Now it's going to try to refresh itself. All right, we don't really need that. Uh, all right, the next step would be to actually import the actual files themselves, which is more difficult, but in more difficult, it is still pretty easy to do. Okay, that's back there. All right, so what you got to do is locate your Steam directory for Railworks 3. So mine is in, go to your hard drive, your main Windows 7 hard drive, where you installed the game. Mine, because I have a 64-bit, it's in Program Files x86. And then it should be under, click S for Steam, and you should quickly s jump to Steam right here. Double-click that. Now go into Steam Apps. Double-click that. Then go into Common. Double-click that. I don't, it's in a weird place. And then click Routeworks. Double-click Routeworks. Now you've got all these files. This is the main working directory of Routeworks that Steam downloads and saves in its program files automatically. Okay. So all you have to do for this is kind of get these in new windows so you get this fancy new s feature here. See, there's an assets folder here and a contents folder around here somewhere right there. All you have to do is select these, drag them into this folder. See, and then they'll automatically start copying. I, of course, have already done that, so I don't need to do it again. Perfect. So that, that is basically it, guys. Uh, those are the easiest, or those are the only ways that I know of, of installing add-ons for Railworks 3. They need to come in this RWP format or actual file folders themselves in which you just drag them in. And for the RWP, obviously, like I just said, you got to uh, install them using the Railworks editor. Actually, there is a way to do this where you can actually go into this and in WinRAR you can actually see if you open it up in WinRAR you actually get these three uh, sometimes two it depends what it is these uh, little folders here which also you can just drag into the main directory um, this, me this method does work with uh, Steam version of Railworks 3 um, although if it, Railworks 3 does update you're going to have to reinstall all of your DLC that didn't come with Steam because Steam doesn't like it when you do that and it basically deletes everything because it, it likes a nice, a nice fresh install. Um, so, I mean, that's basically it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that, do all that stuff. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's great. All right, so all right, ha have a good day, guys. See you later.